So, you ready to see the results of the mission? Take a peek. NASA scientists believe this dark powdery dust and these small rock-like particles could hold the secret to the origins of life on Earth. Early analysis of the samples scooped up from the asteroid Bennu shows it's rich in carbon, about 5 percent by weight, and also contains water, two of the essential building blocks for life. So let's start out with, uh, with taking a look at what we've gotten into so far. As Francis that water, NASA says, is captured in these water-bearing clay fibers. The reason that Earth is a habitable world, that we have oceans and lakes and rivers and rain, is because these clay minerals, like minerals like the ones we're seeing from Bennu, landed on Earth four billion years ago to four and a half billion years ago, making our world habitable. So we're seeing the way that water got incorporated into solid material and then ultimately into planets, and not just Earth, but probably Venus and Mars. And scientists are just scratching the surface. The asteroid sample has been on Earth for less than three weeks. We are touchdown, I repeat, EDL. Parachuting down in the Utah desert last month after a seven year, six billion kilometer journey. The lid containing the actual sample hasn't even been lifted yet. Scientists have instead been studying the bonus dust collected around it. A great problem to have, says astro-materials curator Francis McCubin. Because we need to very meticulously and carefully collect every grain, it's taking us a little longer to get inside, but the view so far is amazing. What has been collected is being painstakingly analyzed in a special clean room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. NASA says at least 70 percent of it will be stored for future research. Some of the remainder will be broken down into smaller parcels and distributed to more than 200 scientists around the world for analysis. This stuff is an astrobiologist's dream. This material will be around for generations and generations. We're going to learn so much about the origin of the solar system, the evolution, and potentially how even life started here on Earth. And this could be just the beginning. NASA is planning to shoot off another spacecraft as soon as Thursday, this one bound for the giant metal-rich asteroid Psyche, which is orbiting between Mars and Jupiter. If all goes according to plan, the spacecraft, which is also called Psyche, will reach the asteroid in July of 2029, taking the very first photos of the rock, which scientists believe is comprised of iron and nickel, much like Earth's core, as a search to understand how all of this came into existence. Tony Waterman, CGTN, Austin, Texas.